This video is about the Laplace transform of unit step function. Let us first recall the definition of the unit step function. The unit step function is denoted by this u of t minus a. So this means that the function is 0 when t is less than a. And the function is equal to 1 when t is greater than or equal to a. Now, if a is equal to 0, then it's represented by u of t, which is equal to 0 when t is less than 0, and the function is equal to 1 when t is greater than or equal to 0. Now, let me show you the graph of the unit step function. The first here is the shifted unit step function, in which you have a value of 1 when t is equal or greater than a. So this is how you sketch the shifted unit step function. So 1 to the positive t direction. Let's sketch the unit step function u of t. So the value of the function is 1 when t is greater than or equal to 0. So this is how you sketch this function. Now let's proceed to finding the Laplace transform of unit step function. So if the Laplace of f of t is equal to f of s, then the Laplace of f of t minus a times u of t minus a is equal to e raised to minus a s times f of s. Remember that this right hand side of the equation is the result of using the definition of the Laplace transform, which is the integral of e raised to minus st times f of t dt with limits from 0 to infinity. The Laplace of the function that has shifted to a units times u of t minus a is equal to e raised to minus a s. So remember that we have e raised to minus a s in its transform. You can put that before the operator, which is Laplace of f of t. So since we are to find for the Laplace of f of t times u of t minus a, we need to replace t by t plus a in function f only. Those that you can see both sides of the equation in the left hand side and the right hand side of the equation. Again, replace t by t plus a in function f only. So f of t minus a in the left hand side replacing t by t plus a will become f of t. You copy u of t minus a. And on the right hand side, f of t inside the operator will become Laplace of f of t plus a. And this will now be your guide in finding for the Laplace transform of the function multiplied by unit step function. So it contains e raised to minus a s in its answer. Now let's have the first example. Find the Laplace transform of t squared minus 4t plus 5 times u of t minus 3. So the presence of u of t minus 3 in our given suggests that this is a unit step function. Now the first step is to replace t by t plus a in function f only. So where can we see a? So take a look at u of t minus 3. This will be our basis for the value of a, which is 3. Means that t will be replaced by t plus 3 in function f only. So this is the f of t in our given.
Okay, so since this is a unit step function, the Laplace transform of a unit step function times f of t is equal to e raised to minus a s. So in this case, our a is equal to 3, so it would be minus 3s times the Laplace of f of t plus a means that you are to replace t by t plus a. So first term will be t plus 3 squared minus 4 times t plus 3 and then plus 5. So this will be the expression that you can see inside the operator. So you'll no longer be writing u of t minus 3 since you have e raised to minus 3s. So copy this one, e raised to minus 3s. Before we take the Laplace, we expand first and combine like terms. So t squared plus 6t plus 9 minus 4t minus 12 plus 5. So we combine like terms. Copy first e raised to minus 3s times the Laplace of t squared has no other like terms. So t squared plus 60 minus 4t is equal to positive 2t. Then we have 9 minus 12 plus 5 is equal to positive 2. Now the next step is to find the Laplace transform of the functions inside the operator. So recall the transforms of the elementary functions. We copy first e raised to minus 3s since it's already an f of s. And the Laplace of t squared is 2 factorial over s raised to 3. For the second term, we have 2t. So you copy 2, the plus of t is 1 factorial over s squared. And for the constant 2, the Laplace transform is 2 over s. Now the next step is we simplify. So we put this expression into one rational expression. Find the LCD and that is s cubed. So the first term will become 2 factorial, it will be 2. For the second term, so we have 2 over s squared, so it will become 2 times s. And for the last term, we have 2 times s squared. Now take a look at the resulting rational expression. You can see that there's a common factor there. You can factor out 2. So the answer is... 2 times, we arrange the s according to the highest degree, so s squared plus s plus 1 times e raised to minus 3s all over s cubed as a denominator. Okay, you enclose this as your final answer for the transform of the given unit step function. Let's proceed to our next example. Example number two is to find the Laplace transform of t minus phi times sine of t. This is our f of t times u of t minus pi. So the presence of u of t minus pi means that this given is a unit step function. And a here is equal to pi, as you can see in u of t minus pi. In the first step, you see you are to replace t by t plus a, t plus pi in this case. Remember that it should be replaced in function f only. Now plugging in t plus pi in function f only, first we write e raised to minus pi s before the operator, the plus of t will become t plus pi, then copy minus pi, pi minus pi, cancel, sine of t will become t plus pi. 
make sure to properly write the grouping symbol. e raised to minus pi s times the Laplace of t times sine of t plus pi. As you can see, there is t in the resulting function inside the operator, so we are to use differentiation of Laplace transform, or the multiplication of t property. We will write first e raised to minus pi s Laplace of t sine of t plus pi. We know that sine of t plus pi has an identity, so we replace it by its identity so that we can be able to take its Laplace transform. Sine of t plus pi is equivalent to sine of t cosine of pi plus cosine of t sine of pi, sin cos cosine. Cosine of pi is equal to negative 1. And sine of pi is equal to 0. Therefore, the resulting expression is e raised to minus pi s Laplace of negative t sine of t. Multiplication of t properties. So we put first negative before the operator or you put that outside and then take the plus transform of t sine of t differentiation of Laplace transform now remember the formula copy first negative e raised to minus pi s okay then take the Laplace of t sine of t it will become negative 1 raised to 1 first derivative of the Laplace of sine of t, or the, the first derivative of f of s. In this case, to find for f of s, we need to take the Laplace of sine of t, and that is 1 over s squared plus 1. Negative times negative is positive, so just copy e raised to minus pi s. Copy first derivative with respect to s. Laplace of sine of t is 1 over s squared plus 1. Then we differentiate this one. Quotient rule, or the shortcut the shorthand method negative of the constant of of the numerator times the derivative of the denominator. Erase the minus pi s. This will become negative. Okay, derivative of denominator, so that is 2s all over the square of the denominator. So s squared plus 1 raised to 2. Then we arrange our final answer. So negative 2s e raised to minus pi s over s squared plus 1 raised to 2. This will be our final answer for the given unit step function. So this next example, I want you to finish this one for me. The given is, if f of t is, this is in definition format, e raised to t or e raised to minus t. Let me rewrite. f of t is equal to e raised to minus t when time is from 0 to 1. And the value of the function is t when time is greater than or equal to 1. You are to find 
for the Laplace of f of t. So this is a unit step function in definition format. So you write this unit step function f of t is equal to e raised to minus t from 0 to 1. So you copy e raised to minus t grouping symbols so times u of t minus 0 or u of t basically until okay, 1, so u of t minus 1. This is the rectangular format or rectangular pulse format plus t when t is greater than or equal to 0 so you write u of t minus 1. Since u of t minus 0 is u of t and that is equal to 1 in our definition, then we rewrite the expression. We have, we distribute e raised to minus t in each term. So copy f of t is equal to e raised to minus t times 1, so just e raised to minus t, times the second term is e raised to minus t times u of t minus 1, plus the last term t times u of t minus 1. As you can see, the last two terms contains unit step function. So you follow the format in determining its Laplace transform to replacing t by t plus a in function f only. And for the first term, you are to use the formula for the Laplace transform of elementary functions.